giant boulders, no problem. Nazis, piece of cake. Indiana Jones and his famous fedora are back. But this time around, he's fighting something no one can stop, old age and the critics. He rode off into the sunset 19 years ago in The Last Crusade. And there was a clue in the title that he wouldn't be seen again. But oh, how wrong we were. Harrison Ford has returned to the role of Indiana Jones, the college professor by day and heroic adventurer by night for the Kingdom of the Crystal Skull. The top secret plot and two decade wait made sure the premiere in Cannes was the event the world had been waiting for. Goldie Horn, Natalie Portman, Michael Moore and Salma Hayek were among the lucky ones with the golden tickets. But why such a delay? Well, at an earlier press conference, director Steven Spielberg explained. You know, it took a long time to find the right story. I mean, George always had the idea of the Crystal Skull. That was something George brought to the table at the outset. There, there were a couple of other possible MacGuffins, but that was the one that stuck. But getting, you know, the focus of the story and who the villains were going to be, that took a lot of uh, time. Our hero, Harrison Ford, meanwhile, is sporting a few extra grey hairs than in his last outing, but we'll forgive him, after all, he is 65, although he does have a new young sidekick to keep up with in the shape of Shia LaBeouf. Of course, the picture, which also features Brits Ray Winston, John Hurt and Jim Broadbent, is guaranteed global success. But winning over the movie bust is another story, although the cast and crew are more than prepared for the backlash. You know, I, I expect uh, to have the whip turned on me. Uh, it's, uh, it's, it's not unusual for something that is uh, uh, popular uh, to be disdained by... Uh, by some people, uh, and uh, I, I fully expect it, and uh, um, I, I'm not really worried about it. Uh, I work for the people who pay to get in. Uh, they are my customers, and uh, my focus is on providing uh, the best experience I can for those people. Well, we guess he won't mind that there were a couple of boos at the end of the first press screening then. But forget the naysayers, it won't change the view of the fans. How could you resist Harrison Ford? <laughs> I've always been a fan of the original trilogy. I've had them on tape when I was a kid. It was the movies I watched over and over. And they'll no doubt be pleased to hear that Spielberg and writer George Lucas haven't ruled out getting Indy back in the saddle and cracking his whip for movie number five. <laughs>